Did you know you could place your ads directly inside of Google Maps? So if somebody searches for you nearby or your geolocation, you'll be one of the first to be seen. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do this for your business locally. So I'm gonna show you step by step how you can implement this strategy to better promote your business. So most of you have probably seen Google Maps before, but in this example, I'm gonna show you exactly how you would search for a local business. And then from there, we're gonna show you how you can implement that within your Google Ads. So let's jump in. So most people would jump into Google and then they would look for a product or a service. So for instance, if we're looking for a plumber, electrician, or a contractor, builder, florist near me or near your location, you come into the search bar and Google and then just put plum, uh, we could put, put area, and then plumbers. And then from here, you come to this screen. Now, let me click off of this. So we put in the area and then the actual service of Reading plumbers. So this is the area that we're looking for. You will see a screen similar to this. If you don't see this particular screen, you may see sponsored links at the top, which would be from a search campaign. From here, we would just scroll down and then click on more businesses. And then this will take us to the map pack. So here is the sponsored links from map packs. That is just the promotion that you're running from your Google ads. So this is so, so powerful. And the reason that this is one of the best ways that the, you can advertise, one of the most high intent is because people are searching for your product or service in a local area. So they're gonna put the area, they're gonna put near me, they're gonna put suggestions that Google will throw up as well. And then you'll see this particular page. And then from here, people are gonna click on the website or get directions to your location. And this is high, high intent. This is a, about as high intent as you can get within Google. So the chances of you getting business from this is gonna be as high as you can get from probably all of Google um, that we can potentially look to for paid ads. So this is why it's so, so high intent. So highly recommend that we do this. So let's jump into some Google documentation and actually just run through what we need to do to do what we have to, to get this set up. So Google Docs, support at Google, uh, we can see they show us where on the maps it can be seen, gives us some instructions. So enable location assets for your Google Ads. So we're gonna run through that, um, learn about that. You can just click on these if you wanted to actually jump into Google support docs, use location targeting and bid by location. Yep, again, we're gonna actually run through how we do that. And then the last bit of this is optimize your keywords. It's probably the easiest part of what we need to do here. A lot of this just connecting things together within Google Ads. And then from there, we can just optimize the keywords, which again, the chances are you're probably doing it if you're advertising locally, but if you're not, we can run through some simple kind of um, details on how we can make sure our ads are being seen based on all of this. So the next step is we need to connect the Google My Business profile to our Google Ads account. But if we don't have a Google My Business profile, then we need to set that up. And the easiest way, if you don't have that already, is just to search in Google, My Business Profile set up, and there'll be some documentation and the process to follow to set that up. So once that's done, what we need to do is connect the My Business Google profile to our Google Ads account. And the easiest way to do this is come to your Google Ads, click on Tools, Data Manager, and then from here, we just need to connect the product. You can see I've already connected this My Google Business Profile, but we just connect it here, and then what you'll see is the Google Business Profile within the Feature Products to click on it and connect it. And then that means that they're both connected, which is exactly what we want. We want the Google business profile to be connected to the Google ads account. The next step, we need to then create the asset to promote the maps within the Google ads. And again, the way we do this is we come to campaigns, click on assets, and then from here, just click on this create asset, click on locations, and then create the asset. Once we're in here, we'll see this kind of layout of the Google Ads. So ad location. We can add this at the account, at the campaign, or the ad group. I prefer to add it at the account level, but sometimes we need to add it at the campaign level for a number of different reasons. But most of the time, you'll be running this at the account level, which means that anytime you create an ad, it will be shown to those ads. If it's a campaign in Pacific, then make sure that you've done that in case you wanted to duplicate that amongst the different ads. So generally it'd be the account level, but sometimes you can have it at the campaign or the ad group level. Then location group, we want to have it location group, no location group, or all locations. Your attempts are going to be clicking on all locations because you remember it's going to be a physical location that we're clicking on. So we're going to click on the location and then from there, we're going to save that within the Google ads. Now, once that's done, 
we then need to look at the targeting. So what area are we targeting? We can't target the, the whole of a country. We need to target a certain area. Maybe we're going to look at a county or 10, 15, 20 miles around your location. So let's come to the, so we're going to come into Google again, campaigns, the campaign settings. And then from here, we're going to look at the location targeting. We're going to click on enter location, advanced location. If I click on this, then what I've done is I've targeted a certain area. If I click off of this, so from the demonstration, um, what we'll do is we're just going to target, let's do the same location, Reading. So Reading, United Kingdom, include it. Now, if the area, if the location is too big, we can kind of have a radius and just zoom in. What I found with location targeting, sometimes having smaller locations will really get more precise. Remember, you can always expand the locations, but if you have a small location and really focused around the near me location area, then you can get a good amount of quality leads. And then there, we can expand it always later on. So we don't want a massive area because it's going to be, you've got to think if you're going to search for something, a product or a service, and you're going to search locally to you, would you travel 30, 40, 50 miles? And the chances are you're not going to travel that far, maybe sort of five, 10, 15 miles up to a certain location you're going to travel to get something so again it's going to be the same with what we're trying to achieve here think about your what, what, what your kind of user journey is on google and then kind of you need to focus on that so sort of 5 10 15 miles potentially we can have that geolocation based around what we're doing for our targeting so again you can see we can do that through an area or we can do it through radiuses and google will allow us to enter a radius again we can let's do reading We'll just do Reading, and you can see we've got a 20 mile radius around Reading. And again, if we wanted to adjust that, we could reduce that to say, let's, let's do 10 miles. And then you can see, so then suddenly it becomes a lot smaller. And then we can, again, reduce that further. If we wanted to target postcodes, which is a great way that we could build out to get more data, then that's another way we could potentially do this. So what I want to do is just jump back into the documentation regards to the targeting that we want to do regards to local or keywords that we want to target for the local area. So the documentation we looked at earlier, we've covered the first two. So the last one is optimize your keywords, use keywords in your campaign that relate to your locations and what people are searching for locally. So remember, once we've done the two first steps, we want to then input the targeting that we want. So for us, we did it Reading plumbers or plumbers in Reading or plumbers near me. So remember, when you're searching for something in Google, what are you typing in for your local? Maybe you're looking for a florist, maybe you're looking for a restaurant, maybe you're looking for a plumber, electrician, a builder, whatever you're looking for, what are you typing in? And remember, when you start typing in Google, you'll see some recommendations. And these tend to be locally based if we're searching locally for the maps. So again, we need to make sure that we're targeting the right search terms based on the local locality for the maps. Now, if we're doing this, we're obviously going to get a higher click-through rate. We're going to get a good conversion rate and get us more of what we want in Google, which is obviously going to be a good thing because we're keeping it local. So Google wants you to fill out, fill out the My Business profile to make sure that you are a legitimate business in your area. So obviously, they want to make sure that it's a local business and hence you can put in your keywords. And when people search for you, there's a physical location or a location around where you are. So that's why it's important. That's why Google makes you do all these things from filling out the profile. We've got to connect it, run the assets, put in the targeting, run the ads and do everything we need to do to make sure that we've got everything enabled to show on maps, which as I've explained, can make a big difference to your campaigns through the click through rate, conversion rate, and then ultimately the amount of conversions we're getting through Google. So there is a place in Google where we can actually see where this data comes from. So I want to jump in and show you exactly how you can see the data coming back from your maps. So come into a campaign and then from here, click on segments, click on click type. And then when you click on click type, you can see some different um, information coming from Google. The ones where we're interesting is driving, driving directions and get locations. So you can see here, we started to get some clicks, impressions, uh, some money spent on it. So what we want to see is some conversions coming through. So that's where you get the data for the maps and that's how you can find it within your campaigns. Now, if you like this type of video, I've got more coming out. I'd love to, if you've got an account that you're running or thinking of running, jump on, click on the link below. I love to audit accounts, run through accounts like this and just look for ways that we can improve. 
a lot of the time we can work with campaigns that are initially running because there's always something that's working. So we can kind of restructure, we can do it in a, in a manageable way and, and understand that because I understand and I do this every day and I have done it for a number of years, I know how to get the best out of Google. So if you're looking to run ads or you want an audit running for the current campaigns, whether you're Pmax, lead gen, then love to click on the link below. Let me jump in, let's go through your campaign. Tell me what your outcome is and then we can kind of figure out the best strategy for you or how we can optimize your Google ads today.